Hey everybody, it's Inspiration Wednesday, but only it's Thursday. I've just gotten back from CHA. I had an amazing time. It was an awesome four days. Saw a lot of my friends, saw a lot of really cool innovative stuff, but I'm itching to get back to playing. So we're going to have Inspiration Wednesday on Thursday. I have taken my Inspiration Journal and I have gessoed these pages. And when I got home, I had this awesome gift in the mail from... Um, Crafters Workshop, I had all their templates, which I totally ordered because I love them. And um, I just wanted to play with them. So I think there's like cool polka dots and herringbone and um, harlequin and all kinds of things. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to put one in this tree. I think I'm going to play with this one, just like I did the bricks, but maybe in turquoise this time. So I'm going to go get some paint and I will be right back. Alright, so there's a couple things that I've done to set up for today. Um, remember last time when I did the bricks, I didn't go over the inclusion. So I don't think I'm going to go over the inclusion again today. So I'm putting a little piece of wax paper over the side of the page. Hopefully it will stay. And then hopefully I can carry the design across. And I'm not lining it up, I don't think. I don't think I want, maybe I do. Look at me, I changed my mind. Maybe I do. No, I kind of like it off. Okay. Now I've got... I've got my sponge, this is regular old cheap sponge, and I've got some acrylic paint here. I've got some cobalt teal. I did mix it with a little like cheap paint so it's kind of variegated. And I'm just gonna go through here. This is kind of fun. I love these things. I love this company. So I've got it dry and it is a bit kind of jumbled. I'm going to do a little drippage, I think. And I've got to go find my water bottle. Hold on. I've been gone for a couple of days, so Peyton totally stole my water bottle. I think she's been drippaging on her own. All right, so I'm just going to do, this is that airbrush paint. Ooh, ah, drippage. Okay, so I'm going to spray it, let it bleed a little bit. Ooh, I like that. I like it a lot. More, more. Alright. Now I'm going to heat set that and then I will be back. As that started drying, I totally changed my mind. I think I'm just going to wash over it. So I'm going to get a brush. Let's see. And I'm going to take that drippage because it, it looks cool, but I like actually how it's faded in the background. So I'm going to. Since this already has that fluid consistency, I don't really need to add water to it unless I want it to drip more. But I think I'm just going to whitewash over it. And I probably whitewashed too much. Alright, so I'm going to be using one of my new CHA stamps from Unity. It's called Poppy Background. So I'm going to stamp this, I think it stays on, to the right side of this page. Again, I'm going to over inker. you can never have too much ink. My look, I always get this stays on pad that has like no ink left in it. And I have like seven of them. And I always pick up the one that has like no ink in it. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this kind of over here. Press it down. I was going to stamp it on the other side, but I realized that was kind of lumpy and not flat. So let's see how I do. Fantabulous. And then I'm thinking I'm going to gesso inside of it so I can put some bold pop of color. So I'm going to get a little thing for gesso and I'll be back. Alright, so I've got some gesso poured out over here and I'm just going to go in those lines. And it's okay if I paint over the stays on. It's just giving me like a guide. It's all dry and now I'm going to put some color in this and I've 
put out here some quinacridone magenta, quinacridone crimson, green gold, and a little yellow ochre. And I'm thinking that when I mix the green gold with the yellow ochre, it's going to make a really cool olive, but I'm not sure. I'm going to go in with the quinacridone magenta, because again, it's one of my faves. back in and kind of put some details just with my Faber-Castell black pen. Just really subtle. So I've got this iridescent gold out here. It's iridescent bright gold fine. And I'm thinking like, oh, what would it look like if I go around the edges with that gold? And I have a little bit on here, and I was going to drip it, but then I'm like, no, I don't necessarily want to drip it. Let's see what happens when I do this. Let's see. Get a little water on it, maybe. Just see if I can get it to kind of glop around the edges. Kind of liking that. Gloppage. It's gloppage. I really need to get a copy of Eat, Pray, Love again because I'm tearing up my, you know, my Twilight books. But all I'm doing is just randomly tearing sections of the pages. And I think I'm going to use gel medium and kind of put those down. And then maybe isolate some words out of them to maybe make a sentiment. See how that works. I like odd numbers, so I'll probably do... Couple of ones. Maybe five. Maybe five. Alright, so I think I'm going to take some gel medium. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put it back here behind it. And then I'm going to put a little layer on top of it. And that should embed it into the page. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just going to embed this a little bit there. I don't want to make them exactly even, but I do want to make them that I don't think about putting them down. Because you could think about all day, like, where's the right placement? Okay, granted, these books are not the best for, like, cool bits of wisdom because they're made for teenagers but I have enamel accents and I'm kind of new to this and I used it for the first time a little while ago and I loved it so I think instead of even taking a pen they have this nice fine tip and I'm gonna kind of outline with this and hopefully it'll have a three-dimensional kind of feel to it what did I see here I found um I don't know what did I find the shadowy outline I like that. Let's see if I can. Shattering today. 
Um, and I, those letters fit, so that's kind of what I went with. And I tore the little inclusion. And I did do some whitewash over some of the page, but now I think I've got some of that iridescent gold again, and I'm going to go around the edges. Alright, so I put the gold around the edges and then I decided, you know what, I don't think I'm done playing and I just put the word poppy play because that was what I was thinking, but um, I have the white enamel accents and I also have some ice stickles and I don't know, I have this template, this other one, and I'm thinking I might want to play, so I'm just putting something in my, oh, and the paint's not dry yet, so that's okay. I think I'm just going to make some dots, like fill in the dots with the enamel accents. I've got drippage. Totally enough drippage over there. Do I want that one to drip? Maybe I want it to drip down. Ooh, I might have just started something. They look like boobs hanging, dripping. <laughs> so, enamel drippage. Could there be such a thing? Apparently, there can be enamel drippage. I don't know if I should spray water on it. What do you think? Do you think that will change anything? I don't know if the enamel likes water, but we can find out. I'm going to go with the enamel doesn't like water. Well, I'm just experimenting, see what happens on this page. I'm going to dry it, and then I'm going to come back to it and see what else I can do to it. Alright, so I dried that epoxy, and I don't know if it actually added anything like wow to the page, but it is kind of cool because it's got like this milky, shiny, I keep calling it epoxy, enamel kind of thing to it. So that's kind of weird and cool and just odd. So that was kind of like this trial and everything that actually worked good. So then I think I'm going to put a layer of just stamping over it. I know I just can't stop, but that's what today's all about. I just, I just got back. I'm jet lagged and I wanted to just play. So that's sometimes you just have to do that. So I have one of my favorite hero art stamps. This is one of their script stamps and I'm going to ink that sucker up. Now, Jennifer McGuire taught me this cool trick about if you don't want to have that edge, like how it always looks like you're stamping like a square stamp, you should take a baby wipe, but of course not many baby wipes right here, and you should just blot certain parts of the stamp so it's not perfect. Now, I actually don't want this to be perfect, and that's fabulous the way it is because it just kind of overlays, and this is thick and textural, so that did exactly what I wanted it to do. So I'm just going to go and re-ink and re-blot and stamp, kind of pushing the page into it. Fabulous. That's what I want. I wonder if you'll even continue to stamp over here. Spectacular. And I'm going to do it over this side too. Alright, so I threw some red paint on there and kind of blotted it off and dried it and kind of rubbed it again. It made that cool kind of like scratchy look. I love that. And I have another um, tag here, and I'm thinking, do I want a little distress ink on that? Because, you know, every page has to have a brown hole. This is a little antique linen on this already. And I'm going to take my tiny attacher, and I think I'm going to tag it right here. And that is it. That's awesome. Totally had fun with this one. Tried a lot of things. You know what? It, I had no direction where it was going, and I'm not sure I even love the outcome, but it is what it is. Learned a lot, played, and I used a lot of new product that I hadn't used before, so that's what it is. Hey, thanks for watching along.